is up Kilo Crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are walking around the city of Cork, Ireland. Actually currently we're at a cathedral probably because we're praying for our salvation. Because yeah. <laughs> we are about to go take on a challenge called the Holy Cow Burger Challenge at Dwyer's of Cork. Now this challenge is so named and so spelled in the title of this video because we are right along the River Lee here in Cork. But anyways we know that we have a giant burger coming our way that is comprised of beef and a lot of brisket and possibly even some loaded fries. So this is about to get super crazy. I hope you guys have your fingers crossed for us. Are you ready to take on this thing? It's gonna have burnt ends on the fries, so I'm excited. It's about to be delicious. But anyways, we'll of course catch you guys at Dwyer's when the burger challenge arrives. So the massive holy cow burger challenge has arrived here in front of me at Dwyer's of Cork. I'm going to have one hour to finish this insane burger. I am so nervous. This is basically three pounds of full Irish beef in between two buns that are about a pound for the top, a pound for the bottom, all smothered in a bunch of delicious pulled brisket. And then there's barbecue sauce, there's some healthy veggies, and then what I'm most looking forward to is there's some giant hand battered onion rings on top of there as well, which look delightful. Along the way, I also have to finish about a pound of their fully loaded fries, which is like a mixture of beans and then some more of that pulled brisket along with some of that barbecue sauce as well. So really looking forward to this. I hope that I win because if I lose, it's going to cost me 130 euro and uh, homie can't afford that. So hopefully we win this today. But anyways, if I do win, I get it for free. I do get myself a groovy t-shirt and I do get myself my name and my photo up on the wall of fame. But anyways, as usual, there ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back back and get this challenge started. I am so nervous. <laughs> I think my voice might crack a little. <laughs> I'm wearing an FC polo, so that means I have to win. My apologies if the camera does shake a little bit. I'm on a stage here, so no pressure or anything, but that's enough stalling. One, two, three. It is burger eating time. <laughs> the big reveal. Oh, get us some onion rings, oh it's hot. The onion rings almost look normal size on that massive burger. Oh my God. Oh yeah, like a delicious edible bracelet. Woo! Mad props to Chef Mark. Mad props indeed. But anyways, what's up Kilo Crew and welcome to one of the biggest burger challenges I've ever tried. Sorry about that. There we go, wisdom. Uh, unsurprisingly, I was mistaken when I thought the seat cushion sized bun was blocking the timer. Y'all, those onion rings were beautiful. Now it's time to dig into what I'm assuming is a boiling hot burger patty. So let's get in on this. Of course, topped with that pulled brisket. Ooh, it looks delicious though. Here you go. Mm. That's the face of instant joy right there. Okay, I can do this. I am confident. Confidence is key. Fake it till you make it. This thing was insane to see in person and I was definitely not too confident going into this. Mad props to Mark the chef, which if you're wondering, no, it's not the same Mark throughout all these challenges. All of our chefs just happen to be named Mark. Marks seem to know how to cook. So uh, all the Marks out there, raise your hand in the comments below and let me know if you're good at barbecue or burgers or whatnot. The cheese bowl is impressive. I believe it was six slices of pure Irish cheddar that went onto this burger and uh, there was definitely a good amount of cheese pull going on, a lot of cheesy gooey goodness soaking into that burger. In case you're wondering the size and the camera's not doing it justice. Come on. Nice and steamy as well. Let's try a bite like this just to make it look awesome. I don't know. It already looked rather awesome in my opinion. I don't know, but yeah, I guess that does give you some good insight there that I'm picking it up and it's it's like the size of a Frisbee. The little bottles of Diet Coke here in Ireland are totes adorbs. I'm in love. They are totes adorbs, but they're gone in like two or three swigs, which uh, is a little rough when you're as thirsty as I am during a challenge. This is now about the size of your average T-bone steak at a restaurant. Cheers. Yeah, give or take. And this is where I was already getting a little bit nervous because I was already feeling it. Maybe it was the temperature, I don't know. This could be a terrible idea, but I'm going to attempt to eat some of this like a burger. 
Let's enjoy it like it's meant to be. I think my burger to bun ratio may have been a bit off, but I was doing the best with what I had. Wow, that bread is just like corn bread. Randy had actually just done this challenge right before me, and he had mentioned that the bun was very similar to cornbread, and I couldn't agree more. All right, ketchup to the rescue. Now we're going to win. I wish it came in squeezy bottles at this place, but nope, packets it was. The top bun's getting syrup at the end for dessert. Call me crazy if you want, but I've used maple syrup to come to my rescue in the past on these big bun challenges, and it can come in clutch. My hands are so greasy, I can't open the packet. Just watch the struggle, the frustration. Um, can you be like oh, my baby, mommy and cut open my ketchup packet for me? Oh, yeah. and then for my queen. Thank you, doll. Randy just opened my ketchup packet for me because he's such a doll. What a kind and supportive boyfriend he is. But yeah, that helped kind of power through the last bits of meat and bun combo. Final bite of the burger and most of the bottom bun. Launch up. <laughs> Okay, maybe more than one bar. If those weren't half-hearted sympathy claps, I uh, I don't know what would be. <laughs> Put a lot of fries. Yeah, I could tell that that casserole dish was packed full of fries and then loaded with the beans and burnt end brisket, so I was nervous. Final bite of the bottom bun, then on to the fries. All right, let's try these brisket loaded fries with baked beans, unique. Let's give it a whirl. That was a combo I hadn't really tried since Pip's Cafe. Delicious. For being beans on fries, it was all right. I'm gonna do this to mentally help me out here. It uh, didn't do too much to calm my nerves there. Look at it just like plopped on the platter. It doesn't look any less. It almost actually kind of looks like more and it just kept multiplying and multiplying. Ugh. Left that little clip of sound in there so you could hear everyone going about their business while I was uh, moaning and groaning, <laughs> trying to get through some fries. Oh. The fries keep friggin' regenerating, I swear. They did seem to keep regenerating, but hey, at least the burnt end pieces of brisket were absolutely delicious and kind of helped break up the bean fry flavor. This table's taller than me. I was trying to show off the food, baby. <laughs> it didn't work. If I can finish a five foot po' boy, I can finish this. Okay, come on. And on that confident note, I'm gonna leave you guys to enjoy this nail biter of a video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will, of course, catch you all in the next one. Final bite of fries, and it's just the top bun. <laughs> <laughs> Forty-three fifty. With breather, now time to make a dessert bun with some maple syrup. Let's see how this works. This could be disgusting, it could be delicious, who knows? It's alright! Oh. This actually ain't bad. It tastes like a really big donut. Whew. Hey, there we go. You can do it. Yeah, I'm trying. Thank you. Come on, babe. You got this. You got this. Come on. We got food up to here, folks. Woo! I'm trying. Mmm. So yes. Come on. Put it in the plate. There we go. I'm gonna do it. Come on, man. Get it done. She still has four minutes. Oh, <laughs> mm. All right, Kilo Crew. <clears throat> There's much fun left. Four minutes. I'm going to try. We are deep in the pain cave.
Oh, I just meant it. Wow, sorry. Ah, for those who are dying to know, 59.58. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo, Kilo Crew, that was a buzzer beater. I am hurting. 59 minutes and 58 seconds to finish. Oh, the whole Lee Cow Burger. And holy cow, that was a lot of food. It was a lot of bread. Uh, I would like to thank the people of Cork for their delicious pure Canadian maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Irish Canadian maple syrup. Um, <laughs> thankfully for winning, I do get the 130 euro meal for free. I do get a groovy t-shirt and a spot on the wall of fame. I think my favorite bit of that really was that beef patty with the brisket all over it. Obviously, I'm a big fan of onion rings, but Absolutely delicious. Really happy to uh, remain, spoiler alert, undefeated uh, here in Ireland. But a big thank you to everyone here for cheering me on. A big thank you to Mark for making a delicious challenge. The fries were tough, but everything was wonderful. So a big thank you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye.